Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimitri. So today I'm going to show you how to deserialize a JSON file that has arrays. So in this case, as you can see, you have multiple colors and then you have only one value for make and one value for price. All right, so let's just go over my main method. And the first step is to go to your file. So I got a folder in my case and then just right click on the file. Then you're going to obtain the full path. So there's an option um, that says uh, copy full path and then you're going to paste it and put it in a variable. So you can put it in a variable or in a string. Just don't forget to and close it in a quotation marks and the at before before the the whole path you put the at in this case all right perfect so next step uh, you actually have to read this as a text so what you're going to do is uh, you're going to create a string since we're talking about strings and I'm going to call this string JSON file. And I'm going to read this file. So I'm going to say file dot read all text. And then I'm going to pass my path. And this is using my system dot IO. Okay. In, a, uh, in order to uh, be able to read this. All right, perfect. So next step, I have to access my model class and deserialize. So I'm going to create a class that has three properties in this case, color, make, and price. So I'm going to scroll down because I already created the class and I'm gonna call that class car model and it's going to have three properties which is color make and price because those are the same properties that I have in my file let's say if you only want to work with color then you just create one property in order to do that so in this case I want to be working with the with all of the properties which are basically only three in this case the only thing that you have to notice here is that this is going to be an array because it's the only property that has multiple values. Okay, perfect. Let's just scroll up. Now I'm going to create an instance of my car model. I'm going to call it C. And then I'm going to start the deserialization process. So I'm going to say JSON convert dot deserialize object of type car model. This is my model class. And then I'm going to pass my JSON file. So JSON file and that step is done okay perfect you could also um type a var here that's another option i'm just gonna do it like this okay perfect next step before we iterate through the color values i just want to show you something so I'm going to console right line my object and then I'm going to access my color and then I'm going to copy this and I'm going to access my make and price uh, properties as well. So C make and then I got here price. Okay, perfect. So if I run this, 
what I'm going to have is something like this. Make GMC price 200, but what's going to happen with the colors is that it's not reading the file because this is an array. So it's basically not deserializing the color property, but it's working with make and with price. Let's just go back here. And what I have to do here is I have to iterate through the colors because I'm talking about this array. So I have multiple values here. So what I'm going to do is for each, for each variable item in C dot, and then I'm going to say, okay, I need all the colors, and then I want you to console right line those. So if I run this again, I should be able to see all my colors. Perfect, so I have blue, yellow, black, brown, and orange. Now my color property is working. I have this system.string array, which is this color, um, the other one that we were doing before, because I didn't use the for each for this, it's not going to work. So let's just comment that out. And that's perfect. So now let's just try to add another value. Okay, instead of adding a value, let's just delete this. And now we're going to have only three values. Okay, perfect. So in order to uh, print that, I'm just gonna hit F5. And I'm gonna be able to see my colors. Now I have only three colors, then my GMC and then my 200. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's just wrap up. Uh, I'm just going to add a message here. So I'm going to say um, dollar sign and I'm going to put this inside, but I'm going to add a message. This is, okay, let's just say color. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to say, okay, dollar sign, uh, make Let's just put this inside. And I'm going to do the same here. So um, Okay, perfect. And we're going to print this again. Uh, here, I'm going to say price. If I print this again, I should be able to see the message as well. So let's just hit F5. And the message is working. Okay, let's just compare real quick. I have all my colors. I have my make, GMC, and I have my price, 200. Okay, perfect. So I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video.